Hey everybody, this is Super Nintendo Mike here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Diamond version. In the last episode, we got to Ju Jubilife City, and we basically found Tyson, stopped him in his tracks, and we, yeah, we basically defeated him, and we explored Jubilife City. In this episode, we are going to leave Jubilife City. Yes, I'm so sad. And we're going to continue on in the game. So as you can see, the game might be a little slower than in previous episodes. That's because I'm recording in a higher resolution. Because I'm recording the bottom screen as well. I'm trying to see what will happen because I have to record a higher resolution. So you, I can get the bottom screen. And this is Route 203. Uh, you can... Face that trainer right there. Which, uh, from the recording, yeah, it's only it's only during the battle that the spedding up actually is effective. And I keep on pressing B because I am going to record Pokemon Sapphire, which this will probably be up. I don't know when. I, mean, I might mention it in that video. I have no idea, which I'll be recording immediately after. But it's been a, it's been a while since I've recorded that, probably three over three weeks. But um, any Zubat? I think we've already seen a Zubat. Well, yeah, Zubat is a flying type Pokemon. Hang on a second. Zu yeah, Zubat's a. I already explained this. Yeah, I remember. Okay. But. We're gonna get Proton Gen level 9, which is good. Definitely right where we want our Pokemon team to be. Um, Chugga should be level 11, so let's give him a little bit of playing time. If you come over here, and as you can see on the bottom screen of a Poketch, I can only use my mouse to control this. So as you can see, this, this, um, screen on here it is it's a this is the Poketch watch and you can basically change the screens this is basically shows your HP Pokemon and items this one shows the time this is a calculator I believe this counts how many steps you take yeah and yeah that's but we can get many additional options later on in the game I kind of feel bad that you guys weren't seeing the bottom screen because the bottom screen can be kind of cool, can be not at the same time. But you know what? Might as well. Most people do it. There are YouTube partners that record this. So hey, I'll just give it a shot. Um, we can avoid him. And Abra, which is a psychic type Pokemon, uh, they automatically flee if you start attacking them. Unless if you put them to sleep, that's really the only way you can catch them, or else you just chuck some balls at it. Okay. I'll face her really quick because she's a much easier opponent than the other person that's down below, which probably has a Zubat. Let me see, we have a level 4 Bidoof. Which we're just going to take out Ember uh, Taunt, which we learned recently. It's an okay move. I believe it just makes them learn. Yeah, you can't use the move. You can't use that move during uh, the battle. Which can be kind of useful. Especially if they're about to use like Hyper Beam or something. And we're just going to destroy this Bidoot. With Ember. <laughs> You're level 10. Which you really want Chugga right now to level like probably level 11. I don't think that you can turn left. And what do you know? We found a Zubat not in a cave, which we're about to enter. Um, I really... So here's the problem with this game. If you don't have repels, it's very annoying. Just because when you enter the battle scene, it's just so slow-paced. Really, game? 
That is so weird. And she has a gym badge from Orberg City, but there's no way she does because she's... <laughs> Not going to spoil the level that you need to be, but... You need to be a lot higher than that. Probably triple of what she is right now. Okay. Two level fives. That's not going to work out that well in this gym. Okay. That we're going to encounter in the next episode. Which I believe is episode five. And... Yes. Okay. So right here we found a rappel. Which I am going to be glad to use. Right now. <laughs> And trust me, when I get to a shop, our very next shop, which is in Orberg City, I'm going to buy some repels. Okay. I mean, usually I don't like spending money this early in the game. But for this generation, you really want to buy repels early in the game. Here, we have to talk to this guy no matter what. He's not actually going to battle us. Oh, looky there. You got a poke catch. Hmm. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. And gift to hidden machine you. HMO6, which is Rock Smash, which you do need. It's a requirement in the game. Every HM in the game is required, I believe. Uh, maybe not strength. Well, actually, yeah, you need to use it a couple times, but that's it. And, yeah, it's good to use outside of battle. We have some trainers here. But I've already featured a bunch of trainers, so I'll just show one of them, I guess. I'm not going to show both of them. Get through this cave, I'm going to battle you! Oh, great. Now, in Orberg City, coming up, we there is a Pokemon that I am interested in catching, but there are some side effects to it, so I'm actually not going to. This party is going to stay the same probably for the first two gym leaders, maybe three at the most. But I, I mean, yeah, in our third town, in the town where the third gym leader is, I'm most likely going to catch my next Pokemon. When told that, this is the team. I mean, this is good so far. We have a fire type, which is which you do need in this game. Very helpful to have a fire type. We have this one, or I think there's two more. We have a flying type, which is great. And we have an electric type, which is... Okay. Okay, this game's not really that heavy water-based. Basically, the third generation was. Ooh, Psyduck, which is a Psychic type Pokemon. I think it might be water as well. It might be water Psychic, but I'm pretty sure it's just Psychic because you can find it on water. Or in, or in caves. I mean, it depends on where you're, where you're at, and it's just as long as Psyduck doesn't have a water type move. Scratch. Okay. It's not very effective. So I guess it is somewhat water type because I'm not knocking this thing out in like two hits or three hits. But yeah. Anyways, welcome to Orberg City. And no matter what, we have to talk to him. Unlike the third generation, which you don't have to. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you, like you're a total noob, right? <laughs> So, I'll show you where the town's gym, Pokemon gym is. And the recording of this looks so slow, but when I, re when I render it before I officially render it, it makes, this, makes the sp speed of the game go a little bit more crisp and more clear. And you, I, I highly recommend you doing that. I mean, even if you have a super fast computer, I highly recommend just doing it just to make it look a little more crisp and clear, like I've said. And here's Tyson. Oh, it's you, Mike. You finally got here. You're slow, like always. Well, I'm recording. What do you expect from me? I mean, seriously. Badge already, but he's not here. So this is Orberg City. Um, first, repels, because the next area where we're going to be is going to be very annoying. And wow, that repel lasted a long time. Um, I don't think there's repels here. <laughs> I don't think there's repels. Uh, tunnel mail, heal ball, net ball. Oh no, I meant to press B. Sorry. Oh. 
Let's just say what we're about to encounter is going to be very, very annoying. So in each of these houses, I don't think there's anything special here. I mean, there might be an item in this house that we can pick up. Rock type, gym leader, Pokemon, yes. Rock is our town's gym leader. Running safely and efficient. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a museum right here. Which will be very important, which you will get into hopefully later. Can't guarantee it. Pet is a huge mountain. But it's sent out to do distinct halves. And basically there's nothing really going on here. There's no point to talk to these people. So down here is Orberg Coal Mine. Beware busy Pokemon. And yes, there's a lot of Pokemon down here. Ooh. Which you will encounter a lot. Okay. Well, we can talk to them on our way up. I didn't quite make it. And Geodudes... Which, there's a lot of them here. Um, okay, so, down here you can face some miners. That's if you want to, but I'm not even going to bother. They, There is one Pokemon here which we may encounter. If I don't, I'm just going to explain it. But here is... Who's this? Stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move, rock smash a boulder, blocking away. Oh my goodness, he broke a rock. That is amazing. And these two, of course, have to be the gym. That'd be me. There's Roark. Now, I believe over here, yes. Found an escape rope, which I'm going to be glad to use. Uh... Yeah, why not? I'll use it just to get out of here with... Sorry. This place is pretty annoying. Uh, the Pokemon that I was look that I would have looked for is Onyx. Which I don't believe Onyx can evolve into Steelix. Well, actually that... Yes, it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it does. The only problem is I think you need a stone in order to do it. Or else it just takes forever to do. Um... We can find Steelixes later on in the game. Which, I'm really curious to use a Steelix because I have caught one before, but I was like... I'm pretty sure I have caught all the Pokemon in this game. Maybe even back in 2008? Or 2007 when it came out? Well, it was released in Japan in 2007. I well, actually... Actually, no, wait. Actually, no, I think no, it was released in 2006 in Japan. United States. And everywhere else, basically, in 07, I think. If I remember correctly, not exactly fresh on that information. But there's a couple of houses that we can go into. Might as well stall some time. <laughs> you know, Pokemon of different natures. Like, we have personalities. I don't think it's surprising to see different Pokemon different colors. So, I about the Pikachu. Pika! <laughs> Pikachu. The very first starter is pretty much the very first starter. You can't go into those houses. Ever in Pokemon history is from the shows, which I don't rem exactly remember if the shows came before the game. I believe the shows came out in the 90s, which of course is when the, the, the game started. But, I mean, on the, the video game started. And I like the show. I pretty much, I think I stopped watching it after Pokemon Diamond. Uh, when they were, I mean, Sinnoh region. I think I stopped watching it after that because the, I believe they are doing Black and Diamond. I was, I was like watching it and I was like, eh. Not really that much interest. The Dusk Ball. Well, this would have been good to use in the cave, so that's the only item I believe that we can find here. Duck. Psyduck yellow. You don't name a Pokemon a color. What's wrong with you? And sometimes giving a Pokemon the nickname isn't the way to go. It just depends. Personally, I don't really like giving them nicknames, but 
In Let's Plays, you kind of have to. I mean, that's what most people do. <coughs> and here, I believe, is where we want to go. Yes. Pokemon obtained and trade goes quickly. One of the few trades in this game. Well, it might be a handful of trades. Your Pokemon name would shop. That is a terrible trade. Okay, Machop is a much better Pokemon than Abra because Abra has low attack and low HP. Especially when it evolves too. Very weak Pokemon when it evolves. Um, I think that's... We come up here. Here, here, here. I believe there might be a hidden item. Nope. Zubat in the wild. Found a Pokeball and those berries up there we will encounter eh, probably in a handful of episodes later, maybe. So as we encounter another Pokemon, Machop. Hmm. I was actually curious of having Machop on my team, but I don't really need a fighting type. We're actually probably going to get a fighting type later on in the game, but... Eh, whatever. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Diamond Version, we want to take on... Roark. Call me Roark the Rock. Terrible pun, even if that is a pun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been uploading that much. I do apologize, as I said earlier, I haven't been feeling that well, but I'm starting to feel better, which is nice. Not 100%. That's why the commentary in this video isn't 100% <coughs> to my level. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the HD setup I have going on here. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, which might be in a couple days when this episode is uploaded. The show's just got back working, which is great. Because you subscribe to the show, you will never ever miss an episode because YouTube sub boxes can be faulty. Anyways, I've been Super Nintendo Mike here. And also really quick before I leave, uh, either this week or next week or the week after, I don't know when. Probably next week or the week after, I may be streaming with uh, USMC Super Tony 11. Uh, the Donkey Kong Country Returns if I can get the, the stream set up good. All right, and maybe next week on El Pier Zone, I might be streaming uh, some games on there. Maybe Mario Kart 7 if I can figure out all the setups and everything. Maybe even stream an LP, I don't know. You can find out on El Pier Zone or release the information on there or my channel. And it will be uploaded to this channel, Super Nintendo Mike. Because, yeah, I really want to upload the streams on here, but send out the information on El Pier Zone because people are more active on there right now and watching videos. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.